In today's video, I want to share with you why I think HyperEth could be the next app to literally rock this space and turn my small stacks into even larger stacks with little to no effort. Stay tuned. Hola everyone, it's Miss B Money here from Crypto Connections. Welcome back and a warm hello to those of you who are new here. If you are new here, it would really mean the world to me if you click on the subscribe button below and become part of our community. And be sure to also click on the notification bell to be notified of my latest uploads. Before I get started, I want to say if you aren't a YouTuber, then using Trust Wallet on your phone is a great alternative to interact with the HyperETH contract. Easy access on the go. What can get better than that? It's truly the best of both worlds. But as a YouTuber, I have struggled with not being able to access my account on my computer, especially when I want to do a video and share my journey with you. I guess I technically could, but it would mean a whole lot of hassle and in the end, is it really worth it? So instead, I have been trying to get the screen record to work on my phone. If you remember in an earlier video, every time I opened up my trust wallet, the screen recorder would stop. I think I finally got the app to work. Yeah, right. Well, kinda. So after recording only one and a half minutes of showing my dashboard and then saving the video, when I went to send it to myself so I could incorporate it in this video, oh my gosh, <laughs> the video is like over 51 megs. I almost fell off my chair. Obviously, it won't send, and I just refuse to use a cloud service for that. So, because I believe in transparency, I decided to provide you with some screenshots or a screenshot instead. Not the best, but the next best thing. So, as you can see here, I have an active investment of 0.8 of an ETH. I invested one ETH just seven short days ago and 20% of that was taken right off the top. 10% of it goes to developer fees and another 10% goes to marketing. Makes sense. As you can see here, that 0.8 ETH is worth, at the time of recording this video, $128.79. And my profit so far is $63.67. Almost half my investment in seven days and that's with zero affiliate commissions and yes, I plan on keeping my profits in this app to help support the project. Okay, so let me jump into why I think HyperEth is the latest app to rock this space. Our beloved new Ethereum app HyperEth launched just seven short days ago. And in that seven days, we go to the new dApps, it has moved from new dApps Ethereum, it has moved from, it was down on number seven I think in my earlier video, to number two. And we've got lots of activity happening with a pretty steady, maybe even slightly up. Uh, average with a pretty well it's kind of going up a little <laughs> but on average it's staying pretty balanced there for those of you who don't know DAP Radar or what it is it's a website that ranks Ethereum EOS and Tron based apps now these DAPs are ranked according to the daily active users or DAU and also displays the volume and transaction accounts that you can see here. Volume and transaction accounts. This site can help a potential investor determine the popularity of a DAP. It's definitely a great way to gain insight into a DAP and decide whether you want to invest in it or not. As you can see here, it also shows the balance of 97.1. That's pretty good compared to a lot of these were on the list just seven, seven days ago and were basically around the same amounts. 
So our contract is definitely growing. Even though we do see the ups and downs, overall, it's been growing. And that's a great sign. So as I said, this is definitely a great way to gain insight into a DAP and decide whether you want to invest in it or not. This is why I and so many other investors believe it's important to leave our investment in and not take any profits out for the first while. Let me explain. Typically in hypes, we tried to play by the rule to get our profits out as quickly as we could and some fun money too. But with DAPs, it's different. With DAPs, we can interact with the back end of the website called the contract. We don't even need the front end of the website at all. So really, there is no fear that if this website is not there tomorrow, that our money is gone. If this website is down, all we have to do is open the contract link and request a withdrawal. I have had to do that in the past with other DAPs and it works just fine. I tried to think of an analogy for noobs to this space to help them understand about a smart contract. And I thought to myself, it's kind of like how our banks work today. Over the last few years, the banking industry has changed so much. You walk into most branches now, and many of these don't have the long line of tellers lined up behind the counter offering to help you anymore. Instead, you find a minimalistic lounge with USB ports to charge your phone and complimentary iPads to check on your investments. Tellers are a dying breed. My condolences to any tellers who may be listening. It's obviously not the only occupation being affected by the electronic age. Let me get back to my point. Why do you think tellers are losing their jobs? Well, it's because the public can now interact electronically with their bank accounts without the need for a teller. It's sort of like a DAP. You see, the bank and our accounts in the bank are like the smart contract. The tellers from the bank are like the front end website that we interact with on uh, HyperEth. If there was no more tellers available, we would still be able to access our funds electronically at the bank. Just like with the DAP. If there was no front end website, we could still interact with the smart contract. So I don't know about you, but the fear or panic that I had with hypes really has no room in DAPs. Really the only fear we have here is that not enough people invest in the DAP and the DAP isn't self-sustaining. Just like if a bank didn't have customers, the bank wouldn't be self-sustaining and would eventually close. So how do we attract new customers? How do we keep the bank open? Well, we use the bank, meaning we build up our accounts in the bank so that it's sustainable. Then the bank or the developer spends some money on marketing and develops new exciting tools that attracts more investors. And one last thing, in this space, we will have other banks or dApps start to close down. And those customers are gonna be in search of another bank to hold their funds. We wanna be that bank. I'm happy to report that HyperEth is growing stronger by the day. Yes, the amount in the contract, like I said, increases and decreases because some people don't see the value of leaving their investments in. But in general, the contract over the last seven days has increased. And I just want to thank everyone doing what I'm doing, protecting our investment. If we keep hodling, so to speak, or holding off for a while from withdrawing our investments, things will only look better. And as other dApps start to close up shop because of the crazy 200% that's being offered, then we will be in a great position to attract those new clients or customers. 
and right now it's so critical in my opinion. Remember I was telling you about DAP radar? Well, I'm happy to report that HyperEth, it has seen incredible growth in just a few days and it's now ranked number two. Can you believe it? We are doing great. So for those of you who haven't already invested, let me tell you a little bit more about HyperEth. The intention of this DAP is to double your money. The minimum investment here is 0.5 ETH. There is a deposit fee where 20% is taken off the top. Opposite of what banks do where we get charged for withdrawals, here we get charged for deposits. In your deposit, you earn 7% daily until you earn 200% back. So basically, if if you invest one ETH like the I did in Hyper ETH, you will have 1.6 ETH in roughly 28 days. If you invest four ETH, four 4.01 ETH and above, up to seven ETH, you get a, a little bonus. So you would get a daily interest of 7.2%. Again, until you reach 200% profit. So far, this has been a great investment in my opinion, and I look forward to taking my profits out at the end and turning them around on day 30 and reinvesting them. Think about it. We got in pretty well on day one. If we all play this right, slow and steady growth for the first 30 days, we can all make profit and reinvest our initial investment back in and let that contract grow again, all while bringing in new investors. It'll be a win-win for all. That's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please be sure to hit the thumbs up and leave a comment. It really helps to grow the channel. Have a blessed day, everyone, and until next time, hasta luego.